Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing fine. In today's video, I'd love to tell you some tips for realistic or hyper-realistic drawing with graphite pencils, especially for the accuracy and precision achieved only with high-quality pencil lines. So you'll see full process of drawing a detailed kind of work. Uh, it will be a drawing of this eyebrow where you can actually see all of the hairs and the quality of lines is crucial for the realistic results. From my point of view, there are many levels of realistic artwork as I can see it. Also within my works you will find many levels, um, those which are more sketchy, those which are realistic, also with smooth shading and texture, but the level of detail is not that high. Um, I was not even trying to add all of the details mostly in the portraits where all of the facial features are smaller and it's just not possible to obtain everything in there. And there are also few works where I was trying to achieve as much realistic result as I could. Uh, they're usually, or these are usually drawings of separate facial features, um, like studies of eyes and uh, lips and so on, where I'm trying to transfer to my drawing everything I am able to notice with my eyes. Um, but there are also many aspects uh, we need to work on when we want to achieve realistic results. The shading techniques, the tools we use, uh, the composition of lights and shadows, uh, the contrast and depth, uh, the level of detail, playing with the texture and much more actually. Um, but in this video we will work on the confident quality lines that add the clarity and definition to your work. What I consider as important is to pay attention to every single line. In this case, it's the eyebrow hairs. These are not just simple lines, they reflect the all harmony of the position of your hand, the way you hold the pencil, the tool and the technique, the state of your mind, your patience and much more. Firstly, uh, it is important to keep your hand stable while drawing. So let your hand rest on the table or anything like that. Your hand needs a solid support to be more stable, not shaky. I also recommend to take a special piece of paper and put it under your drawing hand so the drawing will be protected from the oils coming from your skin and some unwanted smudges as well. The way you hold the pencil will affect the quality of the lines a lot. There are more ways of using the pencils while drawing, but in this case, when we try to create small details, it is important to hold the pencil with the three fingers while the pencil is resting on your hand somewhere between the thumb and the index finger. Also try to hold it near to the tip, simply because this is the way you can have a much better control over your pencil. The stable position of the hand and the full control over your pencil will help you to create fine, confident lines. Uh, then I always try to make sure to draw with sharpened pencil and recently I started using this chisel point tip, I'm sure you have noticed it before. Um, and for the line work, especially the sharp edge of the tip, uh, for me it actually works much better than a usual tip uh, sharpened into a point because the the sharp edge usually lasts uh, sharp longer and using the pencil this way somehow 
feels a bit more stable for me so i love to use the uh, the chisel point a lot um but of course you can use a regular sharpened pencil it's totally up to you it's just not okay to use a dual pencil when we want to get some definition and accuracy of the lines I also recommend uh, this little exercise. You can try it anytime when you have a pencil and a paper with you. Just try to draw few lines like this. Try to draw fine, confident lines, consistent lines. Uh, you will see this exercise will help you to get better control over the pencil, um, to keep the pressure consistent, also more confidence. Um, and patience while drawing also try to make this little exercise even few lines uh, every time before you apply them uh, into your drawing on a special piece of paper just to get your hand used to the certain motion while drawing the lines um, on the other hand when I want to achieve little more thickness of the lines uh, especially in here while drawing the brow hairs or the lashes or something like that the natural hairs are a little thicker in the root part and thinner in the end so what i do is i just push the pencil a little more in the beginning of the line and release the pressure gradually towards the end the more you push the more graphite the pencil produces so the gradual pressure release will help you to draw a smooth transition between the darkest and the lightest value just keep in mind that the softer pencil is the more graphite it produces um, it means that the softer pencils usually do not last sharpened for a long time uh, in case you want to create very dark hair with really thin ends I recommend to draw the, the hair with harder pencil for example HP pencil as you can see in here it will be a little lighter as it does not produce so much graphite and then take a, a sharpened softer pencil such as 3B or 4B pencil depending on how dark you want to go and just go over the root part very carefully try to release the pressure gradually in the same way just stop in the middle of the line and this will actually help you to get the thinner end and the dark root of the hair <laughs> it might seem that this little particular line is just a drop a little drop of water in the sea but try to stay focused and be patient and dedicate yourself to every line you make imagine that every touch of the pencil with the paper creates a little sound and in the end it gives a full symphony So that is all for me I wanted to say about the quality of lines in the realistic artwork. Actually, as I said before, there are many aspects we can talk about and I would like to share more of it with you, but this will be a part of a new video next time. Also, if you want to learn to draw with me and watch my real-time videos and narrated versions of my videos, including the materials and techniques I'm using, Please consider becoming part of my Patreon family, the link is in the description, also in the end of this video. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel because many new videos are coming soon. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!